I never got it what you had to go I guess this world's too slow for you I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold But you just want the gold And there's no way I can beat it Cause I got no chance, no chance When it comes to her She got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough well, here we are on our flight. So this morning we got up at uh, 4.30. We got everything ready, although most of it was ready from the night before. We had a private driver pick us up at 6 a.m., took the MLEX to the Skyway, Skyway to Terminal 3, and then... Uh, through our backdrop, which was very nice, hardly anybody there, and then through security, which again was very nice, um, and then to the uh, gate where we had a little snack and some coffee, and now we're on our flight ready to uh, head to Behold for our 9.30 flight which is supposed to put us in about 10.45 in the morning. And uh, if you've never flown Cebu Pacific, it's pretty much a cluster all the time through Manila. Actually, the smaller airports, we've never really had such a disaster, but Cebu Pacific is Cebu Pacific. It's the southwest of the Philippines, Southwest Airlines of the Philippines except there are no boarding groups and everybody cuts in front of everybody. Uh, for a lot of the um, flights, you end up going through a gate, getting onto a bus. The bus takes you to the flight where we are checking my mask. Arlen's telling me it's not on correct. Cebu Pacific does continue to um, mandate mask usage. So... Uh, off we go. So about, um, oh, I don't know, about an hour and 10 minute flight, hour and 15 minute flight. Break through the crowd, clouds. It's uh, still um, partly cloudy, a little bit overcast. It's not the brightest of days, but we're in our uh, short final uh, making a few last turns to line up. And uh, our Taylor is checking out what's below us as best she can. And it's just the usual standard stuff. Um, it was a good flight, very fast. They did a drink service and then they played their little game of uh, three questions to win a little prize. I don't even remember what it was. I actually slept pretty much through it. Taylor slept uh, some of the flight. I don't think Arlen slept. She seemed to be awake. So we're lining up to the airport, um, going to the uh, downward leg is what they're going to call it. Um, so it's over the ocean, and then we'll be flying into Mahal. But otherwise, it was a nice flight. No turbulence, no nothing. Easy, hard to complain, that's for sure. So we're really looking forward to that. And uh, it, it's still, you know, not completely um, uh, cloudy. Visibility is good. And here we come in, short final landing, 500 foot mark, probably somewhere around in there. And while it was a rough landing, we survived, that's for sure.
And 10 minutes later, we're at the Hendon Resort. Now, the Hendon, I got to tell you, they've got all of their shit all in the right stock. There are two Hendons. They're side by side. One has beach access. One supposedly does not. We stayed at the Alona Beach Hendon, which is uh, right beside the other one. And we... Uh, at the airport, they were waiting for us and everybody else. They have vans that show up at the airport about, I kid you not, I saw them like every three to four minutes, another van. We had a van all to ourselves, and it took us straight to check-in. Now, a couple of things I would mention, and one that's important, this is what check-in looks like at 11.30 in the morning. Um, and as you walk across the lobby, you're going to notice that check out is on one side and check in is on the other. Rooms are not going to be, or generally not going to be available unless, oh, there's Arlen. She has a map and Taylor had a map and we'll take a look. But Essentially, we checked in. It was very quick for us. We had already prepaid reservations. Our room was ready. Taylor's room was not. So many of you are wondering what it cost. And I will tell you, it was about uh, $154 and some odd cents U.S. per night. And we booked uh, two rooms uh, for five days. And this beautiful koi pond out here. And then they have a series of pools. About, I think they have one, two, three, four big pools. Um, and then one lap pool. And one of those big pools is beachfront. Um, now, we were unable to get a beachfront uh, ocean view room when we made reservations. They were all booked. But we're going to go down and head to lunch because Taylor's room's not ready. All we had was a little snack this morning. There's one of the pools right there. Um, and you'll get a better idea when we show you the room of uh, what is uh, available or w what it was like to be around. So we go ahead and hustle on down to get some lunch. And we'll just show you this because it's, although I guess maybe boring, a lot of people want to see just what's it look like. Uh, don't go in there. Uh, one of the reasons that we really like Hennon is, is they take exquisite care of their properties. Um, we stay at, at the Hennon Resort uh, at Station 2 in Borkai, when we go to Borkai. This is no different. Uh, the quality of the layout, the lap pool is to the left. That is uh, still part of the first pool. And we're gonna continue on up through here. Good evening, good afternoon, actually. Gonna have to get a grab taxi back. A grab taxi. What are you picking up, Bean? Flowers. Flowers. Oh. <laughs> Be like Grandma Jean, smuggle it home. And plant it. Smuggle it home and plant it like she did from. Where did she do that from? Bermuda. Bermuda. Yeah. It's still alive too. You know, you, last time I went and visited her at the nursing home, it was still alive and it was like six feet tall again. Wow. After Elmo had just chopped it down like a year and a half prior to move her in. Wow. Sea breeze. Spa. Oh, there's sea breeze the spa. The, the beach. This is oh, really a big pool. There's another pool over there. I like this one. Oof. Yeah. 
This is a very big place. beach pool I guess we could get a table out there maybe and and uh, order this is yeah this is sea yes yes so do we sit out there and order or inside 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 We have a, a, a table with a view. Beach view, sir. Beach view, yes. Salama. I think whichever one you want. Yeah, this will work. You know, if you want to put sir, here, sir, must be different. Yeah. Here, sir, must be different. Yes. You can put these together. It's hot there. So I guess we're here. What time do you open? What time do you open? For what's our breakfast, sir? Breakfast. Seven, or and do you close and then, or you open uh, from so seven until ten? Ten, yes, sir. And for the other parts, sir, start at eleven. Ah, so you close at ten, open again eleven? Yes, sir. Eleven for a la carte. A la carte. Yes, sir. Okay. Salama. Breakfast is six to ten. Right. And the second floor, sir, we start at six p.m. Okay. And also in uh, tonight, dinner buffet is five thirty and then nine p.m. What will be, huh? So this is at the Sea Breeze restaurant. There are two restaurants, Sea Breeze down at the beach and Christine's on the second floor. And uh, the breakfast buffet is at both of them. Christine starts at 6 a.m. Sea Breeze starts at 7 a.m. But dinner buffet is only at the Sea Breeze. There's also a pool bar restaurant as well with a limited menu or different menu. And the Christine's has a a la carte menu the rest of the day. So we had uh, a bacon cheeseburger, Taylor had. I had the chicken fettuccine. Our Lynn ordered a red curry chicken. And then uh, I always have to try the Shanghai Lumpia wherever we go. And I always have to try the chicken wings. And while the chicken wings were very tasty, I got to admit, it's not exactly my best chicken wings uh, only because it's my preference. I like, uh, I, I don't know, I just grew up with Hooters. So I like a very crispy outer skin. And this has been a fried chicken and then swished around in a ton of sauce. Very tasty sauce, but not crispy. Um, but otherwise, very good. So that's it for our check-in and lunch. Our next video will include uh, a room tour, uh, so you can see what it is and uh, the room is like. So we uh, really appreciate you taking the time, and please do subscribe and hit that thumbs up if you like this. Have a great day.